So hey everybody, John Wagnon here along with Jason Rahm and uh, in this edition of Whiteboard Wednesday we're going to talk about troubleshooting monitors on the Big IP. And so for this we want to, uh, we want to go through some different options that you have if your monitors are not working correctly. So in previous editions we've talked about all different kinds of monitors, uh, when to monitor, what to monitor, that kind of thing. So now we get to a point where if you have a monitor in place and it's not working correctly then we need to know why, right? So there are a few different options that we would recommend on troubleshooting your monitors. And the first one that's listed up here is in this example we say uh, dig, you could use curl, whatever, but essentially this first option we would recommend just do the thing that your monitor is supposed to be doing. And so in, in this example we use the dig command to a node IP and then this host name and then hopefully that comes back okay, or if it doesn't, then that tells you, hey, there's something wrong right there. Uh, but let's assume that that one comes back okay, so you've kind of done what the monitor is supposed to do uh, to begin with. So if that comes back okay, then we kind of need to dig into, hey, what, what's going on, because it's still not working correctly, right? So the second one uh, would be, you can read this big, long, crazy, uh, you know, command right here, but you would run this command. Ba basically what this is is the actual script that the monitor, uh, that's loaded in for the monitor, um, and this script right here um, uses these three arguments. Jason talked about the arguments in a, a previous uh, Whiteboard Wednesday video, so you can dig into the details there. Uh, but basically what we're doing here is we're running the script that the monitor is supposed to be running. And then if this thing, if this thing comes back and there's something wrong, then it's like, hey, maybe we've identified where the problem is on our monitor. If this comes back okay, then again we need to say, well, what, what is going on? So now we need to step into kind of a deeper, a deeper look. And so that's where Jason's going to take over and talk about a couple of other options that we have uh, in troubleshooting. Yeah, so basically, uh, you know, we're going down the path of troubleshooting an external monitor here because we're using DIG. But if you're using an internal monitor like HTTP, you can still use a tool like curl or netcat to, to pull the same status that uh, the monitor would do there. Um, one of the ways that you might do that and, and kind of validate what the system is seeing is using what's uh, the big D.debug variable. And pre-11, pre uh, you set that by uh, uh, big pipe db big D.debug enable, uh, version 11 forward. It's TMSH modify sys db big, dot, big D.debug value enable. And uh, you enable those things and then uh, it will be very, very verbose, your monitor traffic to uh, var log big D log file. And so basically, it'll give you the up and down reasons of your, uh, your monitors, why they're failing. It's very verbose, so I would not recommend ever leaving that on. Uh, and I would even recommend doing that more in a test uh, situation rather than in production, if you can. Obviously, if production, you're having problems and you're down, you don't really have a choice. Um, uh, but uh, uh, definitely a great deal in uh, Big D Debug. Jumping back up to TCB dump, TCB dump is a fabulous tool for troubleshooting. Monitors is no different. So you can enable TCB dump on the command line and you can look at what Big IP is sending out to the uh, servers as well as what is being returned. And if everything looks good on the wire um, on the way back, then very likely there's something wrong with your monitor. And, and a lot of gotchas, especially with things like uh, HTTP, is your send string is wrong. There's something invalid or missing, uh, which is causing the server not to repon respond properly. But uh, so, you know, that's kind of the, the overview of troubleshooting. There's a, a lot more you can do. Uh, I would recommend going out to uh, the wiki. There is a um, uh, troubleshooting LTM monitors wiki page that has a lot of detail in it. Uh, also, Solution 12531 has some health monitoring, troubleshooting information. All right, well, that concludes our series on monitors. Uh, just to wrap up briefly what we've talked about throughout this series, um, I talked about external monitors, why you use them, why they're important, uh, why not to use them uh, in a previous episode, and then as well I covered content application workflow, how Big IP does what it does with monitors, and why that's important on why you might not want to assign 50 monitors to a particular pool, or even if you're assigning one, why you might not want to uh, have a tremendous amount of data coming back from your servers. You want to validate your services 
Uh, that's why the monitors exist. But you don't want to do it in a way that impairs either the big IP system itself or the infrastructure between big IP and your servers, or of course you don't want to hurt your servers. And then I talked about a few things. Uh, we covered path and performance check monitors. Uh, certainly you want to know the path that your traffic flows through is up and available. Uh, performance, so that's path check. Performance would be, you know, if you have servers that are performing slowly, then you may not want to load balance traffic to those. Uh, so we talked about different ways to, to kind of check those things. Uh, we also talked about address check and, uh, and, and service check monitors, which are kind of basic monitors, but they can be very effective depending on what you want to do. Uh, and then to go all the way back, we started off with just kind of what monitors are and why you would need them, why you should care about them. We talked about uh, the concept of an interval and a timeout. Uh, we talked about different status node indicators that you'll see on the uh, user interface there on the big IP. You know, the, the little green circles and the, you know, the, uh, the triangles and all those different things and what, and what they mean. So, uh, so anyway, so this, this kind of concludes our Whiteboard Wednesday monitor video series and we hope you've enjoyed this. We have a lot of great content lined up, so check back with us uh, in the future to see more Whiteboard Wednesday videos and uh, we hope to see you out there in the community.